and goblin lore. Spin the wheel. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, sure. I guess we had a plan. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's three hollow ones on turn two. Your go opponent. Today's video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. And right now you can get this sweet scoop soldier sticker. When you order over at cardkingdom.com, just mention in your order notes that you want a scoop soldier sticker when you go to check out. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Budget Magic, and oh man, I'm hyped. This week, we are heading to Modern, but we're playing a bunch of new cards from Theros Beyond Death, with the key card being Storm Herald, along with its new best friend, Eldrazi Conscription, but we get Ox of Agonis as well. This is the deck, I'm not sure what I'm calling it, I'm going with Hollow Herald right now. Basically, Storm Herald mixed in with with Hollow One to create this just incredibly fast, really sweet, very random, but extremely powerful budget deck where we're just playing a bunch of stuff for free, playing Storm Herald to get back this annihilating Eldrazi conscription and hopefully just smashing our opponent to death with creatures really, really quickly. So let's jump into it, break down the deck, jump right into the gameplay, starting with our big new addition, and the reason I'm excited for this deck, and the reason this deck exists, which is Storm Herald. So Storm Herald, just a 3-mana three 3-2 three, with haste, but when it comes into play, we get to return all auras that can go on our creatures from our graveyard and put them on our creatures. It doesn't have to be Storm Herald, but it can be on Storm Herald. And then, they go away at the end of turn, but that's fine, because we have one aura in our deck, and that aura is incredibly powerful. That is Eldrazi Conscription. Eldrazi Conscription is the best aura in the history of magic when it comes to putting it on a creature and attacking with it. Normally it's 8 mana, but remember, we're getting it back for free, maybe as early as turn 3 with Storm Herald. It gives a creature plus 10, plus 10, trample and annihilator too, so basically turns a creature into an Eldrazi, and the sweet thing about Storm Herald is it gets back any number of Eldrazi conscriptions, so in theory, if we can discard some Eldrazi conscriptions on turn 1, on turn 2, we can get them all back on turn 3 with Storm Herald, put them on Storm Herald or on other creatures, whatever we want to do, and just annihilate our opponent out of the game and probably just kill them with trampling damage as quickly as turn 3, so this is the core of the deck, the sweetest part of the deck. Of course, for this to work, we need to get our Adelzi Conscription into the graveyard. So for this, we have a bunch of draw and discard spells, most of them pretty random. I know, we're trusting the magic gods that we discard the right cards, but Burning Inquiry, Goblin Lore, just really good ways to turn through our deck. Draw three, discard three at random, draw four, discard three at random, and then a couple of Cathartic Reunions as well, which give us a little bit more control. But the idea is, we'll just start spinning through our deck really quickly early in the game, drawing cards discarding cards, filling our graveyard, and the reason this plan works is, along with our Storm Herald plan, we also have some stuff that really just cares about us discarding cards, with the biggest being Hollow One. Hollow One costs two less to cast for each card we've cycled or discarded this turn, so that means either Goblin Lore or Burning Inquiry make Hollow One free, and then Cathartic Reunion makes it one mana, so if we don't have our Storm Herald, we can always just Burning Inquiry and then play two or three Hollow Ones on turn one, on turn two, and smash our opponent to death with four fours. We also have Flame Blade Adept, which we ideally want to play on turn one, and then cast our Goblin Lores and Burning Inquiries and Cathartic Reunions, make it into like a four power creature, a six power creature, with meta, smash our opponent for a ton of damage, so we got a bunch of cards that care about us discarding cards, and then we also have cards that come back from our graveyard, so along with Storm Herald getting back Eldrazi Conscription, we got Oxybagonus, which is insane in this deck, we just discard it to our Burning Inquiries and all that stuff, eventually get it back for just two mana, is a 5-3 that also lets us discard our hand, draw a bunch of cards, so it's triggering our Hollow Ones, triggering our Flame Blade Adepts, filling our graveyard. Flame Lake Phoenix takes advantage of the fact that Hollow One, Flame Blade Adept, and Ox of Agonis can all be four power, so we get them back for free for just one mana from our graveyard with haste. So one of the awesome things about this deck is while our Storm Hero plan is dependent on the graveyard, we need our opponent to not like Leyline of the Void us, or we're not getting Eldrazi Conscription. We have a bunch of cards that are fine, even if our graveyard gets locked down. Flame Blade Adept, Hollow One, Ox of Agonis, to a lesser extent, even Flame Lake Phoenix we can cast. So we have this really powerful graveyard plan, but we can still win if our opponent has graveyard hate. Street Wraith just makes our deck a little bit smaller and gives us another card that we can discard for free to trigger our Hollow One, make it a little bit cheaper, trigger our Flame Blade Adept, and then for removal, we got Lightning Bolt and Lightning Axe. Lightning back sweet because it allows us to discard a card. This is one of the cool tricks we could do is use that as, like, control discard. One of the downsides of our deck is if we have a hand that's, like, Storm Herald and Eldrazi Conscription and we cast Burning Inquiry, we don't really know what's gonna happen. Something's gonna happen, but we could end up discarding our Storm Herald. We could discard Storm Herald and Conscription. We could discard Storm Herald and not Conscription. 
So there's a lot of randomness built in, but Cathartic Reunion and Lightning Axe allow us to pinpoint discard our Drowsy Conscription, or whatever, our Phoenix, whatever we want in the graveyard, while also getting some value out of it. Mana base-wise, a bunch of mountains, couple of Forgotten Caves for more discarding and cycling. Then we have our sideboard, which is pretty straightforward. Tormod Script for graveyard decks, Dragon Claw to win the aggro mirrors, Alpine Moon to shut down Valakut's Tron lands, and then Pyroclastic gives us a removal for small go wide decks, Lightning Axe, more removal for big creatures, and then Shenanigans to deal with artifacts, also repeatable, which is nice because we can dredge it back. And that is Hollow Herald for Modern. That's our budget deck for this week. I'm going to stop rambling. Let's jump into the game. See if this mashup monstrosity of Hollow One, Mono Red Style, with Storm Ale and Eldrazi Conscription can actually win some games in the format. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoy it, and I will talk to you soon. All right. Budget magic time. We, ooh, we will we will keep this. Uh, we are looking to get people <laughs> with Storm's Herald in modern. And, I mean, this hand's fine. Mostly because of Goblin Lore. If Goblin Lore goes away, this hand becomes much slower and less fine. But, in theory, we can Goblin Lore. Hopefully discard Ox and Eldrazi Conscription. And if we can find Storm Herald, we're just in business on turn three for the annihilation and if the game goes long then in theory we can start getting back ox of agonuses eventually and whatnot what is our opponent up to other than mulliganing once upon a time sure tarmogoyf street wraith bloodstained mire and pass us on play land and goblin lore spin the wheel please no stubborn denials oh my goodness okay well sure i guess we had a plan <laughs> We discarded our Storm Herald, unfortunately, but uh, I guess that's fine in this case. <laughs> All right, uh, that's three hollow ones on turn two. Your go opponent. <laughs> Craig's Bloodstained Fire. Stopping Ground Stab. And I mean, we're still live to draw a Storm Herald and get the Annihilation going. We would like to discard this Ox at some point. Opponent, Street Wraith, uh, or Vern Catacomb scrags it. Swamp and Tarmogoyf. It's a big old goyf. Too big for us to really attack to through efficiently. Um, yeah, Mountain Go. I guess we gotta wait, as awkward as that is. We need that Storm Herald. Opponent. That's the only thing that would have made this hand better, is if we had discarded an Ox and kept the Storm Herald, then this hand would have been the nuttiest of nut draws. Triple Hollow One on two, and then, and then Storm Herald Annihilate on three. Opponent passes. Well, all right, Burning Inquiry is going to grow the Grim Flayer most likely, but hopefully gets rid of our Oxen. Hmm. Uh, Cycle Street Wraith. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think we got to pass because we have because we have Storm Herald for next turn, so I don't think we can do anything pre-Storm Herald. We want to do that first. And hopefully that just wins. And then after that, we can start looking at getting back Oxen and whatnot. All right, opponent. Aww. 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 Aww, that makes me sad. All right, so, yeah. There goes our Storm Herald. Hmm. Boo, boo, double boo, boo. Oh, we really wanted that. All right, opponent takes the Storm Herald, which is predictable. Grows a Grim Flare. I guess it's not impossible that we die thanks to Teamer Battle Rage. Opponent combat gets in. Well, we will put all of our hollow ones in front of Grim Flare. Well, good news is we can ox to keep turning through our deck and hopefully eventually find another Storm Herald. Traverse. Opponent gets another Goyf and a Swift Spear. All right. Well, opponent passes. Well, play Flame Blade Adept. Ox, um, let's see, one, oh, we don't really want to, ugh, so this conscription is keeping our opponent's goif big, but I don't think we can exile it yet, we gotta wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah, we gotta hold on to it, because if we draw, if we draw a Storm Herald, it's still our best card, all right, get a couple triggers, um, yeah, past the turn. These goifs are shutting our game plan down, but sooner or later we're gonna storm herald conscription. And that's what we that's what we're waiting for, basically. Opponent. And we'll get to another ox pretty quickly. If there's one thing our deck is pretty good at, it is churning through itself to find our pieces. Somewhat randomly, but still, opponent. If our opponent puts a bunch of stuff uh, attacks with a goif, I think we're gonna put a bunch of stuff in front of it. Opponent. 
It gets in. Yeah, well, uh, block, block, lock. This is partly because Goyf is shutting down our offense, and partly because I'm very scared of Teamer Battle Rage still. Plus, having cards go in the graveyard isn't the end of the world because we can get back Oxen. The Ox might be our main, <laughs> our main way of winning until we find a Storm Arrow. All right, Mutagenic Growth. All right, takes down both Hollow Ones, but we got rid of a Goyf. Pony, Goyfs. And Swift Spear. All right, Pony is out of cards. We untap. Ox. Well, Cycle Street Wraith. Come on. Cycle Street Wraith. Do we play the land is the question. Yeah, let's play the land. Burning Incree. Get a bunch of triggers. Discard a conscription. Goblin Lore. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Next turn. Next turn. Next turn is the turn we're waiting for. We'll play a Flame Blade Adept. Yeah. No. No. Attack for nine. All right, can our opponent top deck? Either something that kills us or like a lightning bolt to kill Storm Herald. Or I guess a discard spell could also do it. <laughs> if not, we got what we've been waiting for. Like we have found exactly the setup with double conscription in the graveyard, which means this is going to be a 23-22 Annihilator 4. And uh, also trampling, which, I mean, it should just end the game. Opponent takes 9 to 5. All right, this is it. This is it. What does our opponent draw? Can they kill us this turn? Opponent untaps. Oh, I want this Storm Herald win. I want this Storm Herald win. Opponent goes to combat. Gets in with Goyf. Um, so if they have double strike. All right, we will just block with a Flame Blade Adept. Opponent passes. Well, I mean, we're going to go for it. Uh, Storm Herald, did you draw a Bolt? I guess, actually, we can kind of play around this, can't we? We can Eldrazi Conscription, Eldrazi Conscription. Put one on Ox, one on Storm Herald. And Pulse scoops it up. Oh, that is the Storm Herald power. Yes, yeah, splitting it up gets around one removal spell there. All right. Uh, Pony had some big goifs, but we had even bigger stuff, I guess. <laughs> Maybe this deck's actually going to work. That was pretty spectacular, I will say. Like, that was pretty good. We just keep churning through our deck and churning through our deck, and it's good eventually. Let's go down to Flame Wake for a Lightning Axe. The scary thing is we don't have a great Death Shadow answer. I think our best Death Shadow answer is probably just killing our opponent. That is... That is the best thing we can do. If our opponent goes low enough on life, maybe we could just bolt them slash jank them out and get the win that way. All right, on to game two against Jundas Shadow. And, yeah, sure. This looks like the kind of hand that uh, our deck gives us. Bunch of random discarding. Flame Blade Adept. You. Once upon a time, opponent gets a Bloodstained Mire, plays a Mishra's Bobble, cracks Mishra's Bobble, and Bloodstained Mire, opponent passes, draws a card. Now, playing land, we're going to start on Flame Blade. Flame Blade means that stuff like Goblin Lore and Burning Inquiry actually deal damage, or have the potential to deal damage by pumping Flame Blade, so seems worth it. Bloodstained Mire, does our opponent have removal? That's question two. Eh, maybe? Nope. All right. You never know. A lot of times when someone fetches shocks end a turn, you assume they have something to do, but not always true with Death Shadow since they just want to hurt themselves. About it. Uh, brutality? That is a little brutal. Thankfully, we have two of our card drawing effects, so even if one gets hit by discard, we still have something to do. Yeah, opponent's going to two mode. Discard, become immense. I would assume they take Goblin Lore, since Burning Inquiry fills their graveyard, but we'll see. We'll get to our Oxy friend eventually. Takes Inquiry, interesting. Kind of surprised by that. Opponent must like their hand. Um, well, Street Wraith, Mountain, Goblin Lore. That is, oh boy, that is very unlucky. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my goodness, we drew all lands and discarded all of our action spells. Oh, that's very bad news. Ponet. Ashia. Okay, that, that is... I believe this is game. We just got about as... Wow. Okay. We just got a, astoundingly unlucky, I would say. Well, playing land. Flame Lake is something, at least. Ugh. Losing our graveyard is annoying, though. Well, ping in an Ashiok. I guess if there's any good news, we do have more, like, card draw effects that will hit eventually, but wow, that's rough. Ponet. <laughs> 
<laughs> Throw some thought seasons at us at least. At least let us get some value out of hitting all these lands <laughs> by fizzling your discard spells. Come on, opponent. At least give us that. At least a little something. Thoughtsies? You know you wanna? We got four cards in hand. They could be anything. Yes, okay. <laughs> well, our opponent knows. They know. I guess we got a lot of lands out of the way. That's something. Opponent. Tarmogoyf, sure. Well, we get to kill the Ashiok. Opponent. Wow. All right, one land and reasonable amount of action. Hmm. Land. So graveyard is instant. Okay. So I think what we have to do is lightning axe discard a mountain kill the goif go to combat kill the ashiok had to do it first because ashiok going to the graveyard grows a goif pass the turn all right all right deck give us an ox give us a cathartic reunion anything like that literally anything we'll take any any bit of it any little bit opponent's going to traverse get another goif i assume maybe grim flayer yeah it gets grim flayer all right deck this is your turn to be good to us. You can do it. Blood Crypt tapped. I guess we're so flood out heavy that maybe we get to eight lands? That sounds insane, but uh, opponent. Yeah, this is where it goes bad, because not so much taking four, but the Grim Flayer is going to control our opponent's draws and make sure they are hitting action. So opponent, mills, mills. Leave something good on top. Oh, and a goif. Well, all right. Cathartic reunion. Discard, discard. That's something at least. Hmm. I think we just got to go for it. I don't think we can wait any longer. Yeah. All right. Storm Herald. Conscription. On, on Storm Herald. Combat. What's that last card opponent? Well, we'll attack. We'll annihilate. This is going to force our opponent to sack lands and chump with the goif just to stay alive? All right. Yeah. Opponent. Sax. Oh, no! Oh. Uh, all right. So now we... Now I think we do lose. Oh. Whoa. Opponent needs the Annihilator trigger to turn on there. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, uh, that's disappointing. Opponent hits us for 10. Gets to do Grim Flayery thing. Ooh, yeah, hard to imagine us getting out of this one. Ponet. Mills, mills, mills. Yeah, that is, that is unfortunate. So we have to 10 our opponent this turn somehow, and they have a Death Shadow. Well, Cycle, uh, cycle Street Wraith, down to two. Goblin Lore, and nothing. All right, yup. Wow, that was a crazy game. Oh, oh, Ponet had the Ashiok. Ponet had the Ashiok, and that... <laughs> Goblin Lord was as bad. I mean, I guess that's the downside of cards that discard randomly. It just wrecked us. It absolutely wrecked us. And then it would have been okay, potentially because of the ox in the graveyard. But our opponent having the Ashiok to follow it up got rid of the ox in the graveyard. And then we just, we did nothing. Oh, and we still almost pulled it out. Like our opponent still needed to have a fatal push in hand to uh to really survive that or i think they would have been dead most likely not that turn but i think we would have won from there whoo well all right on to game three we're on the play which is fine hmm eh, all right we'll keep his hand's a little slower than we'd like but it does offer some potential mostly in the form of i mean we have the storm herald we have the conscription we have a hollow one we really would love to find some way to draw and discard cards opponent blood crypt Inquisition can take our Storm Herald. Has to take our Storm Herald. All right, so cathartic reunions and such is what we need. Opponent's gonna crack, draw a step. Sure. Well, cycle Street Wraith. Ooh, cycle Street Wraith. Cycle Street Wraith. Jeez, um. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna kill ourselves. Street Wraith. Cast Hollow One. Mountain. Goblin Lore. Well, pass the turn. Oh, uh, we lost a lot of life that turn. I will say, many life points disappeared. Wow, we went Street Race, Street Race. Do we have four Street Race in a row on the top of our deck? What a weird match this has been. Ponet, going to Thought Seize Us. A little bit nervous about being down to 12. That is concerning. Wouldn't mind drawing, huh, a land, I think? Takes Goblin Lore. What do you got, opponent? What do you got? Bloodstained Mire. Yeah, if we draw a land, we can Flame Blade and Ox. Lightning Axe. I don't play Flame ba uh, Blade. Go to combat, hit our opponent. 
down to 12. Turn on the Death Shadows. I guess this is fine. We can Lightning Axe something and then and then Ox next turn. Over on Doom. Untap down to 9. Fatal Push. Sure. Well, how many Death Shadows are hanging out in hand? And how much more life can our opponent lose? This game is the exact opposite of last game. This game, we are 17 cards deep and on two lands. <laughs> I still can't believe we had four Street Race on top of our deck. The odds of that have got to be... That's got to be a one in a million. One in a billion. Like, the odds of that are very, very slim. <laughs> uh, hopefully it's okay. The main problem is we lost a lot of life. Opponent's going to traverse. Gets a swamp. Plays a swamp. Going to thought seize. Mm hmm. This is going to put our opponent to seven. Um, okay. Takes the axe. Death shadow. Opponent passes. Land, maybe? Flame blade. I'll go to combat. Attack our opponent. Opponent blocks. Well, we will bolt death shadow. Flame blade. Go. Oh, would have been nice to get back an oxus turn. Bolt it. You got more death shadows? Bobble. Okay, that's not a death shadow. Swift sphere. And brutality. Good news is our opponent's out of cards. Opponent hits us. Down to 10. Cracks. Takes a peek. Well, all right. Ox. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, yeah, so we ox. Are we going to draw three lands again? Yup. Well, mountain. Wow. The running is very awkward here. Pass the turn. Opponent gets to draw two. What are they? Tarmogoyf. Yup. Yeah. Opponent. Passing. Come on, Storm Herald. Cycle Forgotten Cave. Untap. All right. You got a bolt? Is that the last card? Storm Herald. Trigger. Actually, we don't care. We don't care. They're both going down the ox. Well, actually, maybe we go one and one. Get them both back. Ox. Storm Herald. Combat. Attack you. Annihilate you for four. Got there. Got there. The power of Storm Herald coming through. Whoo. Sack them all, opponent. Sack them all. And Storm Herald getting the job done spectacularly. Bonus scoops it up. Whoo. All right. This deck is sweet. <laughs> yes. All right. That is basically when we drew up this deck and put this deck together. That's almost exactly what we imagined happening. Like, we can pressure our opponent with all this discard stuff, hollow ones. And then we have this sneaky plan of just like, we top deck out Storm Herald. We annihilate your board. We kill you. And it's working. It's working. Oh, man. All right. This deck, spectacular so far. Whoo. Sweet, 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 sweet. All right, budget magic time. We are smashing people without Drazi conscription, but not with this hand because we have zero lands. Or this hand. This hand I like. This we will keep. We will put a... Ha. Huh. Let's go Storm Herald to the bottom for now. We don't really have a conscription. Ooh, burn. Okay. Well, we got some good sideboard cards for this matchup. Main deck. Ooh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Bone it. Hits us with the swift spear. Um, yeah, let's just, let's just flame blade. Get down a threat. I mean, this is basically a race. After we go to sideboard and we bring in four dragons, <laughs> uh, dragon's eye? I almost said dragon's egg. Definitely not dragon's egg. <laughs> that is, I mean, I guess maybe dragon's egg would be okay. Blocks twice. That's something. But, uh, no, dragon's, dragon's eye. Dragon eye. The thing that gains you a life whenever a red spell is cast, which uh, should be very helpful against burn. Uh, oh, kiln fiend. <laughs> okay. That's a, a smidge on the frightening side, opponent. Passes. Well, we will burning angry. Spin the wheel. Grow our flame blade. Um, Play a land. Go to combat. Get back flame wake. And I guess we just go attack. I mean, it's definitely possible that we just straight up die to Kiln Fiend here. Kiln Fiend untapping is very frightening. Very, very frightening. Uh, and it might mean that Dragon's Egg's not actually that good against this build. Ponet, Mountain. Well, are we dead? <laughs> How big can the Kiln Fiend get? Leaving back a blocker, maybe there's an argument for it. Although, the problem is, Teamer Battle Rage is a thing that is probable. Lava Spike. Grows the dorks. Sure. 
I mean, we just have six. If you can kill us, you can kill us. So, 60. Kill and up to four power. We did make our opponent discard three non-lands. Like, actual cards that they wanted. Forked Bolt. Kill and Fiend up to seven. Oh, my God. Okay. Hits us. Well, this is where we just need to draw a Cathartic Reunion. Hmm. Uh, all right, spin the wheel. That doesn't... Oh, no. Well, Mountain, Cathartic Reunion. Uh-oh. That's not great. Oh, we're just... We are almost certain... Oh, and there's our Storm Herald. Oh, Hollow One to save us from the kill feed? Because we got to attack with this Flame Wake. Ox. Uh, okay. Well, we attack. We have to help our opponents land land. If they're land land, we win. Because we get to... We get to Storm Herald next turn. Land. Oh, that looks like a, a non-land. Manamorphose, and yeah, that's lethal. Wow, we were actually kind of close there. Considering our opponent had Kiln Fiend going wild, we were actually pretty close to doing things. The question is, do we actually bring in... We definitely want Lightning Axe. Do we actually bring in Dragon's Claws? I guess we do. Let's just go down ugh, Street Wraith. A little bit sad to have to go down Street Wraith, but I feel like... I feel like Street Wraith just costs us too much life in this matchup. So bring in one more removal spell. Bring in four Dragon's Claws and eh, see what happens. Oh, we were so close to Storm Herolding. So incredibly close. And I mean, I think that shows kind of the, the power of the deck, the explosiveness of the deck with, even with how bad that was going, we still have the possibility of just annihilating our opponent there with us having a pretty lackluster start for the matchup. Like, we were still a draw away from potentially just winning without hitting any removal spells, which is kind of nice that we always have that chance of just, like, janking our opponent out. The other thing about this matchup that is worth considering is opponents can have a lot of lightning bolt type effects probably, so I'm not sure how likely it is that... Actually, maybe we should bring in Pyroclasms too. Yeah, let's let's do that. We really gotta kill Kiln Fiend. <laughs> That's the TLDR. Kiln Fiend must die. Because Kiln Fiend is just a creature that if you attack with it, your odds of winning go way up. It deals so much damage. Alright, so we are on the play here for game number two, which is good. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna keep this. We have Storm Herald and Conscription, which means if we can discard this but not discard this, we can uh, annihilate our opponent. And Lightning Bolt's good. Mountain Fire opponent. Soul Scar Mage. Um, yeah, let's just kill it. Threat one dealt with. Uh, opponent. Well, all right, spin the wheel. Let's discard Conscription, please. Oh dear. Huh. Okay. Well, maybe we should have played a land first. <laughs> we did not discard Conscription, but we did discard both of our lands. Ugh, yeah, maybe we should have done that. Opponent, Lava Spikes us. Tormod's Crips us. And can we draw a land? All right, we can. So play the land. This Tormod's Crips obnoxious. Let's Cathartic Reunion. Discard Conscription. Discard Ox. Draw some cards. <laughs> All right. More Oxen, more Conscriptions. Well, pass the turn. So we might be able to force our opponent to Tormod's Crypt and then be able to reassemble with our second Conscription. All right, opponent just fires off the Tormod's Crypt. Hits their second land, which probably important for them. Dragon, hey, they're playing. Oh, Dragon's Claw. I kept saying egg. Okay, that makes that makes sense. Dragon's Claw. Uh, well, we will match your Dragon's Claw with a Dragon's Claw. Mountain. And yeah, spin the wheel. Burning Inquiry. Life for everyone. Uh, okay. Well, we kept our Storm Herald. And we have a Conscription in the Graveyard, so we have hope about it. Be nice if our opponent tapped out. Going to abrade our Dragon's Claw. Okay. Oh, come on, opponent. Tap out. Tap out. Show us that one drop. Ooh, okay. Well, we get to annihilate our opponent. It doesn't just win us the game, but it should be decent. Opponent passing. Yeah, uh, Storm Herald. You gain a life. We get back Conscription. Stick it on our Storm Herald. Annihilate you a bit. Opponent land and what? So this isn't a game-ending Storm Herald, but it's still decent. Wow, sex two lands. Okay. And down to 11. Well, play the land. So we get to keep our Storm Herald, which is good. We do lose the Conscription, which is less good. We might be able to get to an Ox pretty quickly, though, which would be helpful. Opponent. Fork Bolt, gonna kill Storm Herald, sure. I don't really want to discard this Goblin Lore. We wanted to fill our graveyard for the Ox. Opponent, gonna hit us. So I think we take our beats, 
and see what we draw. Down to 17. Opponent passes. Well, uh, so one, two, three. Yeah, let's let's goblin lore. See what we draw. Hmm. Um. Yeah, let's wait another turn on Ox. I think we wait lightning axe something, and then next turn we get Ox to refuel. Mana Morphos. Sure. I think we're actually in decent shape here. We can Ox and get back Flame Wake. That's a decent amount of damage. Mountain. What do you got, opponent? All right, goes to combat. Attacks. Yeah, let's kill it. Kill Soulscar, discard Flame Wake. So we are going to discard a Storm Herald, but I think it is necessary here. We still have, what, one more somewhere? We've already used two conscriptions, too. All right, board, back to being clear-ish. Opponent passes. Well, play Flame Blade. Opponent gains a life. Ox. Uh, one. We want to keep the Flame Blade. Everything else can go. Yeah, exile cards. Get back the Ox. Ox is actually pretty sweet in this deck. Opponent goes to 17 temporarily. We draw some cards. Go to combat. Uh, yeah, get back Flame Wake. Hit our opponent. Well, I feel like we're actually in decent shape. We've drawn another Conscription. We might. This is not a deck that's supposed to hardcast Conscription, but it doesn't seem impossible, this match. Although we probably will kill our opponent before we get to eight mana. That seems most likely. We have a pretty big board, and our opponent has nothing at the moment. Opponent plays the land. And passes. Well, play the mountain. More flame wakes. And this is through our opponent having Dragon Claw. We lost our Dragon Claw. And our opponent had a Tormod script, and we're still really just dominating this game. Opponent. Lightning bolts. I assume ox. Alright, gonna lightning bolt the ox. You know. Drops to 12. Out of cards, though. Something like Bedlam Reveler would be a problem. Opponent plays land. And, well, go to combat. Attack. Yeah, eight man has so much for this deck. Opponent down to seven. And a land. Nyx Land Mirror. Uh, Flame Wake. Yeah, might as well. Technically, plus one damage. This should just be lethal, though. With our Lightning Bolts. So, go to combat. Attack. Hits you down to one. And bolt ya. Only a shock, but good enough, even through the Dragon's Claw. And that went pretty well. Our opponent had the hate cards, but because they had the hate cards, they didn't really have enough action cards. So it actually maybe worked out in our favor that our opponent sideboarded so heavily. Our opponent also drew a ridiculous amount of lands, because they annihilated two lands, and they still end up with six, and that is a ton for Mono Red Prowess or Burn or whatever. Um, okay. I mean, this is fine. We got a Bolt. We got Goblin Lore. See what we hit. Swift Spear for our ability. Down to 90. Uh, more Conscriptions. Well, that's that's fine. Conscriptions will be discarded eventually, hopefully. Uh, opponent. Mountain. Please no Kiln Fiend. Crash through. That's fine. That's not a Kiln Fiend. Crash through, crash through. Sure. Ooh. Oh boy. Come on. Give us the dream. Discard two Conscriptions. Draw us a land for Storm Herald. Don't discard Storm Herald. Okay. All right, well, hmm. we didn't discard Storm Herald, but we also didn't discard Conscriptions. <laughs> so we're going to have to try that again. Bout it. Passing. Hmm. All right, play the land. We're going to spin the wheel. Come on, be good, Goblin Lore. Be good. Discard these Conscriptions, please. All right, well, no luck. We discarded two lands, but we do get a hollow one. Okay, we need more ways to discard spells. <laughs> <laughs> These conscriptions will just not go to our graveyard, no matter how badly we want them to. They refuse to be discarded. Opponent. If our opponent braids Hollow One, that does mean Dragon's Claw is more likely to stick. What you got, opponent? Fork Bolt. Sure. Okay, that's relatively acceptable. Come on, more discard stuff. Hollow One. Well, uh, Dragon's Claw. Go. Oh, we can see it in hand, but can we get to it? <laughs> can we? That is the downside of the. Oh, no. Oh, Manamorphos? Okay, Manamorphos is fine. Mostly still just afraid of Kiln Feed. Kiln Feed is a card that can just kill us in one turn, potentially. Opponent, make some mana. Manamorphos, sure. We will take some more life. Bedlam Reveler is also a bit of a concern. Oh, we'd love any of our discard spells would be great. That would be our best draws. Opponent, Dragon Claw. Tormod Script, all right, going under our graveyard. And passes. We might just run out Storm Herald to start attacking with. Uh, we draw land. Yeah, all right. I mean, <laughs> not an exciting play, but we'll do it. And now we're a land away from just casting Ox, which does allow us to discard these conscriptions. They're going to get exiled, but so Storm Herald. 
nothing to get back. Still, like, a hasty 3-2 isn't horrible in a deck that's looking to win a race. It's still a threat. Like, it's not the worst. All right, bolts, that's fine. Now we actually just really want to draw land. That is by far our best draw. Bow it. Untaps. Light up the stage. We're going to go dig in for some cards. Uh, okay, Soul Scar light up the stage. Opponent, passing. Come on, land. Land for Hollow One. Yeah, all right, that works. Well, not the fast way, but... <laughs> hard cast to Hollow One. You're go about it. If we win a game by hard casting Eldrazi Conscription, that would be... <laughs> that would be the best. The most hilarious. Opponent, Soul Scar Mage. And Manamorphose, sure. Can they actually cast their, their light up the stage? They need to damage us. Or draw land, I guess. Yup, Manamorphose. Add some manas. Both players gaining life is probably good for us, actually. I feel like we have the ability to deal. All right, so opponent did manage to get to their light up the stage. Yeah, light up the stage. Yeah, what do they hit? <laughs> Tormod's Crypt Mountain. All right, that's fine. So our graveyard's going to be shut down forever, basically. Well, yeah. I mean, this is this is reasonable. Opponent passes. Um, I think we just Burning Inquiry. Discard draw. Burning Inquiry. All right, well, apparently we are not going to discard that ox. Get in with Hollow One. Hit our opponent. <laughs> the ox survived both of them somehow, it had. Opponent hits us. Down to 26. This is the highest life total for a aggressive red mirror I think I've ever seen. What are the chances it's turn eight and both players are significantly above their starting life total? Yeah, I was assuming we'd just discard the ox and be able to escape it, but apparently it wasn't meant to be. All right, opponent is going to smash away our Dragon Claw. Yup. Hit us down to 23. And pass. And nuke our graveyard. Sure. Hmm. I'll play a mountain, cast an ox. Opponent gains a life. We get to draw some new cards. Mm, hollow one. We only discarded one. All right, go to combat. Attack. Hit ya. Down to 23. Pass the turn. Put on depths. So the Storm Herald can make our opponent... All right, they're going to kill our Ox. Opponent's back out of cards, though. I actually feel pretty good about where we're at. Opponent untaps. Hits us. We have one Conscription left. Um, well, one, two, three. Flame Wake Phoenix. Opponent gains a life. Storm Herald. Make our opponent pop their last Tormod script. Yup. Graveyard exiled. But that's fine. Because we get to attack for a bunch. And opponents only got a 1-2. And, and we're still above our starting life total. So we're in pretty good shape. All right, another Soul Scar Mage. Yep. I mean, we're just going to keep attacking for the time being until our opponent hopefully dies eventually. Opponent. I'm getting in. Sure. Down to 20. Well, we untap. Um, yeah, go to combat. Attack. Hit our opponent. Down to 9. Hollow 1 Part 2. Pass the turn. What you got, opponent? And that's GG's? Okay. Getting it done in the red mirror, and maybe this deck is actually just pretty powerful. Like, maybe we... Maybe we just build a good one. Maybe this one's actually legit. Whew. All right. Sweet, sweet. Budget magic time. We are moderning this week with <laughs> uh, a deck I'm calling... Uh, we'll keep this. Well, the deck I am calling, uh, I'm not sure what I'm calling this. Hollow One Storm Herald Stormy One? Hollow Herald? I, I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go along. Uh, this one's fine. Do we just go for it? So we can Street Wraith Burning Inquiry. If we hit Hollow Ones, we get to play Hollow Ones. Yeah, I mean, sure. Let's do it. Psycho Street Wraith. Mountain. Burning Inquiry. Could also just randomly mana screw our opponent, which would be sweet. Uh, no hollow ones. All right. Actually, that was kind of not... Oh, it's in fact... Okay. Well, this is going to be interesting. Thankfully, we got a bunch of lightning bolts, which can maybe keep us alive. Opponent. Brady Bolt. Adept. New Blizz of Uh, so we're drawing Storm Herald, but we're out of ways to... Huh. We're out of ways to churn through our deck, which is unfortunate. We discard our Goblin Lore. We have two Storm Heralds, but we don't have a way to get... Huh... We don't have a way to get anything in the graveyard. Well, yeah. <laughs> Here comes the flame wake. Got a combat. Get in, itcha. Opponent, 15. Untaps. Another Ink Moth Nexus. Fires up Ink Moth Nexus. Go! I was going to say go to combat, but nope. Pumps. Scale up. Sure. 
Sure, that is fine. Uh, all right, so we take six, in fact. Oh, come on. Really? You got two of them? All right, well, pwn it. Live in the infect dream, and uh, that's game. Sure. <laughs> uh, well, we did mostly what we wanted to do. We just didn't hit the right cards. Like, our deck was doing things. It just didn't hit the right cards at the right time. Bad news is, we don't actually have a ton that's good against our opponent's deck. We can bring in Pyroclasm, Pyroclasm. Hmm. We could Alpine Moon, but I don't know if it's worth it. And Lightning Axe, I guess? Going down. We'll go down one... <sighs> Can we really go down an ox? We really want to be churning through our deck. We had our Storm Heralds that game. We just did not find... I guess we can trim Flame Blades and maybe one street. Eh, let's go one ox. One ox. And try it like that. Yeah, no Alpine Moons. We had the Storm Heralds. If we had discarded an Eldrazi Conscription, we would have just won the game there. We didn't, of course, but we would have. Well, I get to play first. Well, okay. We'll keep this. This time we have a Hollow One. Assuming we don't discard it to Burning Inquiry, which hopefully we won't. Cycle Straight Wraith. Mountain. Oh, come on. Discard a Storm Herald, please. Ooh. All right. Well, um, sure. All right. Two Hollow Ones go. That's fine. Not the most exciting of kills, but we'll, we'll take it. Sometimes you just play two Hollow Ones and hope that that's enough. Bonnet plays a Forest. Once upon a time. Listener Elf. And Cassette. Sure. Um, odds of us dying on turn two are pretty slim. Yeah, let's just Lightning Axe, Glistener Elf. Go to combat. No Flame Wake yet. Hit our boat it. Down to 12 past the turn. Windswept Eath for our opponent. The noblest of hierarchs. And passes. Uh, well, play Forgotten Cave. Go to combat. Get back Flame Wake. And keep attacking. <laughs> Is our opponent going to start using pump spells on... Noble Hierarchs to kill Hollow Ones? They might have to. They're down to nine. They're pretty far behind here. Yeah, that's the plan. Sure. So opponent gets to eat a Hollow One, but they go to three, when it just happens to be Lightning Bolt range, and it would be very impressive if Noble Hierarch could actually 20 us here. Opponent, Viridian Corruptor. So opponent is fighting the good fight. Problem for opponent is we have Lightning Bolt which should be good to close out the game. Pwn it. Well, two hollow ones. Still good. Uh, bolt you. And okay. Okay. So we can beat in fact. We just need to get a really fast start. Oh, one of these days we're going to get the Eldrazi Conscription draw, and it's going to be so sweet. We haven't gotten it yet. Yeah, this is kind of an awkward matchup. We have the life gain stuff to deal with aggro, but gaining life with Dragon Claw, not super helpful against... In fact, <laughs> not the aggro deck that uh, Dragon's Claw is good against. Well, all right, opponent. What do you got? I think we actually keep this. I think we keep it and hope. We have a bolt for turn one, and then uh, Goblin Lore for turn two, and just see what happens. Graph Digger's Gage. <laughs> well, hilariously, Eldrazi Conscription doesn't really care. If we can discard the Conscription and play Storm Herald, it gets around the cage. Opponent. Sinner Elf. Uh, all right, we are going to bolt that. Undap. Hmm. Well, Mountain, Goblin Lore, Hollow One. Unfortunately, well, we'll see. Ponet still has this Ink Moth, and we don't have an answer at the moment. Ponet, Waterlog Grove. How much damage can the Ink Moth do? That is the question. Ink Moth fired up. Scale up. Oh, don't tell me they don't have the literal three card combo, five card combo again, whatever it is. Ponet gets in, it's us. All right. Up to six. Well, Cathartic Reunion, Discard Conscription, and Mountain. Removal would be good. All right, so play a land, go to combat, hit our opponent, cannot get back Flame Wake because of Graph Digger's Gage. Hit our opponent. Down to 13. Hollow One costs mana still, right? Mm, yeah, I think we got to wait another turn and try not to die to this Ink Moth. Opponent. Blighted Agent. Hmm... Yeah, let's Lightning Axe Blighted Agent, discarding Conscription. Oh, come on. Storm Herald off the top. Storm Herald off the top. Oh, it would be so insane. Pwn it. Going to save it with Vines. All right. All right. Give us that Storm Herald. Hollow One. Uh, okay. In that case, we Goblin Lore. Cast a Hollow One. Go to combat. Attack. Still no Flame Wake. Hit our opponent. Well, do we survive... Um, I think, do we want to play the land? 
Oh, what could be in our opponent's hand? Yeah, let's pass. Hold on to the land for bringing creep purposes. Opponent. All right. Two cards. We have a bowl. But if our opponent has pump spell plus protection, we're going to lose. Opponent fires up Ink Moth. Goes to combat. Attacks with both. Sure. Blossoming defense. Well, uh, kill you. And Pulse scoops it up. Wow. All right. We didn't find his door barrel, but in some ways that shows the power of our deck. We did get the win. Okay. I mean, oh man. Drawing store barrel would have been so sweet. We would have found it eventually. Apparently not in the near future, but wow. Store barrel would have been insane there. We had two conscriptions of the graveyard. It's going to happen one of these days, but that was through a graph digger's cage against a pretty reasonable infect hand. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah? <laughs> we'll take it. Nothing like beating Infect. Well, other than beating Tron, but Infect is high in my list of decks I enjoy beating. Whew! All right, next time Storm Herald will get him. All right, budget magic time. Ooh, can we keep this hand? Oh, it's really... Ooh, I think we... Oh, oh, it's so close. So we have one land, we have Street Wraith. We really need a way to draw and discard cards. I think we're going to keep it. I think we're going to keep it. It's... It's on the greedy side. The upside is we do get, we're on the draw. So we get a draw for our turn. We get a redraw with Street Wraith. And, all right, Urza's mine. Hmm, going to be interesting. And if we hit a way to draw and discard cards, this hand can be very good. Well, we will take just a mountain as well. Play Flame Blade. Because we do have Storm Herald and we do have Conscription. So if we hit like a Cathartic Reunion or something, we're suddenly just, well, Scavenger Ground's a little annoying. Ooh, Eldrazi Tron? Ha. Huh. Chalice is annoying. That does cut back on the number of looting effects we have. So, Burning Inquiry, no longer helpful. Lightning Bolt, also no longer helpful. Hmm. Well, Cycle Street Wraith. Uh, Cathartic Reunion is very helpful. Cathartic Reunion. Discard Conscription and Flame Wake Phoenix. Pump, pump. Draw some cards. Oh, this is going to be very interesting. All right, go to combat. Hit you for four. Well, we'll see. We'll see if our opponent leaves up the scavenger grounds. If our opponent does not, we get to annihilate them next turn. This is a big turn for our opponent. They don't want to sack a land on turn three. All right, cavern. Come on, just run out like a mattery shaper or something. You know you wanna. If our opponent just leaves up their mana, I think we, I think we still storm herald here and force our opponent to sack a land. Uh, storm herald. Putting our opponent down. On th this is basically a stone rain, essentially. This is going to force our opponent to sack Scavenger Grounds, go back down to two lands on the battlefield. I mean, if they don't sack Scavenger Grounds, they're going to lose a ton of stuff here, so they basically have to. Storm Herald has been very good in this deck, like surprisingly good. So opponent yeah, has to sacrifice, goes down a land, and then hopefully, hopefully we get to Goblin Lore next turn. Like, Eldrazi Temple Thought Knot's probably the most annoying thing that could happen here. I guess worst case, we can just cast Flame Lake Phoenix. All right, Blast Zone, sure. Opponent passing. Oh, we're going to spin the wheel and see what happens. Ooh, Cathartic Reunion. Hmm. Well, all right, Cathartic Reunion. Discard Lightning Bolt and Flame Wake Phoenix. Pump Flame Blade, draw some cards. And then I think we just Hollow One, Mountain, get back Flame Wake, hit ya. And opponent scoops it up? All right, the power of Storm Herald, we didn't get the Annihilation, but our opponent had Chalice, and forcing our opponent to sacrifice a land was a pretty big deal there. Uh, all right, Eldrazi Tron. So I guess we probably want Shenanigans to deal with Chalice, which is somewhat annoying. We can probably go down Lightning Bolts and go up the Lightning Axe. The big question is, do we want Alpine Moon? That is the, the real question. I'm gonna say yes. Worst case, we can shut off utility lands like Blast Zone and Scavenger Grounds and whatnot. What do we cut, though? Maybe like one Flame Wake, one Street Wraith? Run it like that? Well, all right, that went well. <laughs> Stormhold has been, like, weirdly impressive in this deck. <laughs> it has actually done pretty much what we were hoping it would do, honestly. Um, eh, all right. We got Stormhold and Conscription. We'll see how Goblin Lore treats us. <laughs> you never know when you cast a Goblin Lore. Something's going to happen, whether it's good or bad. Hard to tell. Once upon a time for our opponent. 
and expedition map. All right, so opponent's going to probably get Tron pretty, uh, pretty quickly here. Uh, play Forgotten Cave. Pass the turn. All right, this is definitely frightening. So Tron is definitely incoming. We could draw Alpine Moon, I guess. Uh, cycle Street Wraith. More lands. Play a land. Goblin Lore. Hope for Storm Herald to stick. Conscription to go. Okay, well, pass the turn. Uh, unfortunately, opponent's gonna have Tron, which is a issue. Opponent cracks map. We didn't discard Conscription. All right, opponent gets Eldrazi Temple. Power plant, Karn, holy, all right. Not good, not good at all. Eats a land. Well, these are the games when Eldrazi Tron is really obnoxious, when they, they're not a deck that is really focused on assembling Tron, but when they just sort of like stumble into Tron, it's very annoying. All right, pass the turn. I mean, we do have two conscriptions and a Storm Herald, so there's a bit of hope, but, ugh. Oh, all right, hope reseeding. Scavenger Grounds to go with a million Tron lands and also a Karn. Yeah, this is the kind of draw that Tron, is, the Aldrazi Tron is going to beat us rather consistently. Exiles Graveyards, there goes our Conscriptions. Takes up Karn, we get rid of a Mountain, which we have a million of. And, thought not, all right. Um, yeah, I, I mean this, I believe this is just game. All right, so, well, that's what happens when Eldrazi Tron just stumbles into turn three Tron. <laughs> bad, bad things happen. Unlike normal Tron, they're not super dedicated to setting up Tron. They just kind of hope they luck into it. But when they do, their deck is very powerful. Um, uh, yeah, all right, we're going to, we're just going to concede here. I don't think there's really a way we get back into it with active Karn and Thought Not and Tron. Uh, all right, well, uh. I don't think we're changing anything. Run it back. We do get to be on the play, which is nice. And hopefully our opponent does not have their Tron draw again. Uh, all right, so we get to play first. Yeah, okay, spin the wheel. Please stay in hand, hollow ones. Oh, oh boy. All right, this is where we got trust the magic gods. <laughs> Opponent's going to, once upon a time, to send a message, get a cavern. Well, all right. Come on, stay in hand, hollow ones. Both of you preferably, burning inquiry. Ugh, all right, well, we get a hollow one, which is still fine. We made our opponent discard two lands, but they're not Tron lands. Hmm, there's a Tron piece. Opponent passes. Yeah, we would have liked both hollow ones. That would have been ideal. Uh, no dredge. Hmm, play a land, play flame blade adept. Go to combat, hit you for four. Pass the turn. Opponent's down to 60. I mean, we have a pretty fast start. We'll see what our opponent has. Eldrazi Temple. And Mattery Shaba. Um, hmm. All right, untap. No dredge. Goblin lore. No dredge. No dredge. No dredge. No dredge. Ugh, discard all of our lands. Okay. Well, go attacking. We would have liked to hold on to a land there, but vote it. You can't do that. Has menace. <laughs> you gotta jump the hollow one if you want to block. Those are the rules of menace. <laughs> Opponent still, yeah, no, 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 it's still not gonna work. <laughs> they are gonna keep trying. <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> menace has been realized. Opponent does get a matter reshaper trigger. Drops to 12. Hits. All right, reality smashers, that's pretty okay. Uh, Opponent. So in theory, next turn we can lightning axe something and also burning inquiry. I guess Thought Knot is like semi annoying. Looks like a Thought Knot. I'm sure this is Thought Knot take. It's got to be Lightning Axe. It has to be. Yup. Takes Lightning Axe. Well, we will see what we hit. We untap. No dredge. Well, play a mountain. Goblin lore. No dredging. Ooh, we get to keep our Lightning Axe, which is super good. Super, super good. That worked out. Okay. So grow the Flame Blade. Cycle Street Wraith. Grow the Flame Blade. Lightning Axe. Thought not, grow the flame blade, draw a car, hit you to two. And opponent's gonna need something pretty good here to have a chance. One creature's not gonna do it because we have these oxen, which are gonna let us discard cards and pump the flame blade. Opponent, another mine. All right, five mana. So you can play Reality Smasher, but then you die. About it. Thought not here, sure. I mean, I think this is just game though. Opponent, take our flame blade. I think Ox just makes Flame Blade lethal. Opponent passes. Unless our opponent has, I don't even know what card it could be with colorless mana. We untap. No dredging. Um, play the land. Get back an Ox. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. Discard Conscription, Pump Flame Blade, and game. No dredging. No dredging. No dredging. Uh, yeah, go to combat, attack. Oh, you got opponent. Blocks. And dies? Huh! Wow! Okay! Take it out, Eldrazi Trot! Boy! This deck is really working! Oh, this deck has been sweet! This is the sweetest modern budget deck we've played in quite a while. Oh, man. Alright. Uh, yeah? <laughs> sweet, sweet! Whew! Alright. Well, yeah, let's keep it going. Budget magic time! We are playing some. Huh? Hand. Come to us. Yes, we would like to play first Moto. Uh-oh. Moto. Uh, we're playing some Storm Herald. Storm, Storm Herald, Hollow One, etc. Uh, no wonder Moto didn't want to show us this hand. They knew we were not going to like it. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta bulk in that. That hand doesn't, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, yeah, five cards it is on the play. Oh God. All right. Well, uh, Conscription, I guess with this hand, I think we put the Conscription package to the bottom. We hope we draw into some sort of Goblin Lore effect and get to Hollow One, and then get to Double Flame Wake. All right, opponent, going off. Yikes. All right, pass the turn. Now, well, this is not good. Another island, so we're probably up against Urza. Now, oh boy, oh boy, life is getting, oh no, oh dear, oh dear. This is the worst our deck can possibly look, I think. And there's main deck Nile Spell Bomb. <laughs> well, we might have finally met our match. <laughs> <laughs> against Mall to 5, main deck, Niles, Bomb Bomb, dot deck. Sure. Are we going to have to cycle Hollow One? Hollow One's like our one way possibly out of this. Although Niles, Bell Bomb is a big... Oh, God. All right. Well, ha-ha. Joke's on you. You got to take a Flame Wake, Phoenix. Found <laughs> it. Thinking. Playing a snow-covered swamp. Well, now I guess we cycle Hollow One. This is the worst. Flame Blade Adept. Well, that's a card we can cast. Or our opponent can steal. This is... Yeah, this is the Nightmare Draw against Main Deck Hate. Opponent. Thinking over their options. Takes another Flame Wake Phoenix. Well, Flame Blade Adept. Forgotten Cave. Go. <laughs> oh, boy. Opponent. Adepts. Snow-Covered Island. Urza. Oh, dear. I don't even know. I mean, this might be a bad matchup because of main deck graveyard hate, but I don't even know if it's that bad. Oh, oh my goodness. No. Yeah. All right. Here, here go. Here go, opponent. <laughs> well, I guess it's good to see the bad of the deck along with the all the good games. It's good to see the games where our deck just literally does nothing, which is exactly what we're doing right now. Opponent. Tabby Bunch Mana, spinning Urza, hitting a Mishra's Bobble, casting Mishra's Bobble, and killing Flame Blade Adept, breeding Pool Adept. Opponent gets it, it's us. <laughs> I kind of want to just give up. Opponent cracks the Bobble. <laughs> oh, this has been the worst draws. Good lord, that. Come on now. Come on now. Why are we drawing every bad thing possible all in a row? Opponent gets it, it's us. Down to 15. Uh, okay. Uh, sure. Pass the Whoa! <laughs> we're not gonna do anything this game. We're not gonna cast... Well, I guess we cast Flame Blade, but we're... We're not really gonna cast a spell this entire game, I don't think. Pwn it. Gonna spin the Urza Wheel. Hit a Mystic Sanctuary. Play Mystic Sanctuary. To get back Inquisition of Kozilek. Goes to combat. Hits us. Maybe. Hits us for one, leaving back... Mana for Cryptic, I guess? Ha! <laughs> How do you like a hasty 2-2 two -two opponent? Wow. <laughs> we have not drawn any of the cards we need. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Get in. Hit ya. Boom. 16. Eat it, Urza. Ugh. All right. Here go, opponent. Shadow of Doubt. Well, joke's on you. We don't have anything that searches our library. <laughs> opponent. Yeah, main deck Niles Bobbomb is a concern. All right, going to exile our graveyard and draw a card. Kill. Okay, can we can we just call it? Yeah. Let. All right, we're just going to we're just going to call. It. All right, enough enough deck. We we submit. I know we're technically not dead dead, but 
that that's just so brutal. And our opponent's gonna have a million counters, and we weren't gonna draw anything for like ten turns. All right. Well, that was uh, that was bad. That was rough. We'll bring in two shenanigans. We'll bring in the lightning axe. We'll go down lightning bolts, and we will run it like that. Well, that was a mold of five where we just did not draw a literal. We didn't draw anything. We didn't draw any, like just nothing. <laughs> There's nothing as nothing could be is what we drew that game. Uh, all right. So well, well, let's see how it goes in game two. Maybe I don't know if this is a bad matchup or not. It's definitely rough if they just stumble into Nile Spellbomb for no reason, like they did in uh, game one. That makes it less good for us. All right, we get to play first. Good God. All right. Oh, Mountain and Fly Blade Adapt. Go. Hopefully if our opponent has Discard, it's Inquisition and not Thought Seize. Uh, it looks like Fatal Push maybe. Another land? All right, play the mountain. Yikes. Our deck is betraying us here. Get in for one. Opponent does fatal push. I think we gotta wait till next turn to cycle Street Wraith because then we can cast a hollow one for three mana. Opponent cracks. Snow Covered Island. Sword of the Meek. All right, give us some luck deck. Please not more mountains. Flame Wake. Well, cycle Street Wraith. Burning Inquiry. Cycle Street Wraith. Mountain. Hollow one. Flame Wake. Hit ya. Well, that was something. Although if our opponent just goes infinite, we don't actually have an answer to an artifact. We haven't found a shenanigans. Opponent cracks. Snow covered island. Alright, so opponent has their infinite combo assembled. Gonna make a Thopter. Hmm. I uh, maybe we should have run in graveyard hate too. Well, go to combat. Attack attack. Opponent gets to block. If our opponent also has Urza, the game just ends. And our opponent can combo at instant speed. Well, let's see if they have the full the full Monty. Ashiok. Ashiok is annoying. Hmm. Is there any way we get out of this? Opponent gets in, hits us, gets to make more Thopters. Eh, that gives us a bit of hope. So we will... All right, Lightning Axe. Kill the Thopter. Discard Conscription. Stormhair. Does this let us steal it? What's our opponent's last card? Storm Herald. Triggers. Conscription. On Hollow One. Combat. Play around Fatal Push this way. Yeah, that's fine. This still should be lethal. Everything at our opponent, annihilate you. And I think I think that does it. I think the power of Storm Herald is going to get us there. Wow, opponent assembled their infinite combo. It tramples though, so it should be lethal, even through the blocker. Oh my goodness, what a draw. The power of Storm Herald coming through. Pona had us dead to rights with the Hollow One plan, with Ashiok and the Graveyard Hate, but the power of <laughs> of Storm Herald lets us steal the game. That was pretty good. Uh, do we want to bring in Graveyard Hate? Like, how good is Graveyard Hate is stopping our opponent's combo? Honestly, not that good, unless our opponent's greedy. Like, if they try to combo with one mana and whatever, <sighs> yeah. I don't think Tormod Script is good enough, honestly. It's just so easy to play around. If it was like Leyline of the Void, then sure, it's definitely coming in. But Tormod Script, we our opponent like sacks their sword, gets a trigger, and then and then could just sack something else in response to Tormod Script. Uh, well, Mountain and Flame Blade Adapt. I think we gotta wait and get down our Flame Blades first. Snow Covered Island. Opponent passing. Mm, maybe. All right. Astrolabe draws a card. Another bobble. Cracks a bobble. Draws a card. Well, go to combat, hit our opponent for one. Flame blade number two, Forgotten Cave. Next turn we can Goblin Lore and just hope for the best. Polluter Delta, opponent, pass it. Opponent could have a counter, of course. Hmm, well, cycle Street Wraith, get some triggers. Draw a card. Hmm. <sighs> Play the mountain, Goblin Lore. Do you have a counter? If our opponent does not have a counter, this is a lot of damage. Looks like they do. Ether Gust. Yeah, we'll keep it. Hit our opponent. Pass the turn. The scary part of this matchup is there's always a chance that our opponent will just go infinite out of the blue with Urza. Leaves it on top, so our opponent wanted the card. Uh, opponent's at 15. That Aether Gust was pretty bad for us. Resolving that would have let our deck do potentially some explosive things, and it would have grown these Flame Blades massively, and potentially like given us Hollow One, maybe a Flame Wake, depending on what we discard. Maybe get this Conscription out of our hand. Uh, boot it. Nile spellbomb. Sure. 
Crags Polluted Delta, Snow Covered Island, and Thopter Foundry. All right, so opponents getting their combo assembled. Let's see how good of a turn we can have here. Well, untap, Goblin Lore. Ugh. Hmm. All right. I'll go to combat. Hit you for eight. Hollow one. Pass the turn. Well, let's see if our opponent can go infinite. So land Urza sword is infinite, infinite, infinite everything. Opponent passing. Hmm. What is our best way of doing this? All right, let's let's play the land. Goblin lore. Get a bunch of triggers. Burning inquiry. Get a bunch of triggers. Go to combat. Flame Wake. Pony needs to answer both of these Flame Blades and the Flame Wake. They can answer Flame Wake with Nile Spell Bomb. They can start, like, sacrificing stuff to make Thopters, but they don't have that many artifacts, and even less if they have to crack this Spell Bomb. Is this just gonna work? All right, Flame Wake comes back. We go to combat. We swing with everything. And see what our opponent can do. Yeah, Sax Astrolabe, gains life, make a Thopter. Sax Nile Spell Bomb, makes a Thopter. Goes to eight. Oh, opponent's dead. Opponent's dead? Menace! Menace! Oh, Menace! People forgot about Menace. And opponent said they need a fourth land. Yeah, to play Urza. And opponent scoops it up! And that completes the... That completes the sweep. <laughs> okay. Uh, this deck has been busted. <laughs> oh, this is definitely the best modern budget deck we've played in a long time. And not only is it pretty good, it's also pretty spicy. Whew. All right. Uh, yeah. Sweet, sweet. So what did we learn this week about Hollow Herald and Modern? And the deck killed it. We went 5-0 and across our five matches, and we beat some really legit decks. We beat Urza. We beat... In fact, we beat Mono Red Prowess, we beat Jundash Shadow, we beat a lot of the top tier decks in the modern format. Or at least, modern's weird, there's so many playable decks, but these are like legit decks. It's not like we just played a bunch against a bunch of random budget decks and were able to win. We played against good decks and we bested them all really impressively. And I think this deck is actually really powerful. I love what the combo of Storm Herald and Eldrazi Conscription adds to this deck. It was very impressive because we had games where, number one, we would would, like play some hollow ones do our little valuey stuff our opponent would deal with it and then storm herald would come off the top of our deck and just steal the win from an otherwise unwinnable position we also had games where our opponent would lock down our graveyard they would have their tormod scripts or whatever to deal with our storm herald eldrazi conscription plan but we're still able to like Burning Inquiry, play some Hollow Ones, and beat you down fairly that way. So I really love how this deck, for a budget price, attacks both the Graveyard and kind of fairly, quote-unquote. I mean, as fair as, like, turn one, play three Hollow Ones could be or whatever. But it attacks with the Graveyard and without the Graveyard, so it makes it really hard for opponents to deal with sideboard-wise. And Storm Herald itself was just insane. We did get a ton of Storm Herald wins, and it was great almost every time we cast it. And one of the things I realized about Storm Herald, and this sounds a little bit weird, but Storm Barrel isn't that bad, even if we don't have Eldrazi Conscription. We're a deck that's looking to force through damage. We have all these cheap, hasty creatures, Flame Wake Phoenixes, Flame Blade Adepts getting big, Hollow Ones coming down for free. So we have all this aggression. So there are times where we're just Storm Herald as a 3-2 attack you with all the rest of our creatures is a very powerful line. So it's not insane or that great when we aren't getting back Eldrazi Conscription. But in a deck like this, it's all about attacking, attacking, forcing through damage. Uh, Storm Herald is a fine creature even without Eldrazi Conscription. And shout out to Ox of Agodas. I know Storm Herald is like the focus of this deck, but Ox was insane. It is so powerful in this deck. I really love that card. It's perfect addition for this style of deck. Coming back from the graveyard, giving us a way to repeatedly refuel in more grindy matchups where our stuff's dying. Sure, it comes back. We draw some cards. Opponent kills it. We fill the graveyard again. Get it back again. So it just keeps coming back again and again and again, which makes it extremely powerful. Why also synergistic. So all around... I love this deck. This deck was super fun. It's actually very powerful. It's spicy. It just hits all the marks for me as far as what I want out of a budget deck. Hopefully you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed playing it. I don't know if that's possible because I really love this deck. This one was just so much fun. So that's better budget magic for this week. Hollow Herald for Modern. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.